Have you ever wanted to do something for your audience, but you just couldn't decide what would be best? Well, why don't you just ask them what they want? Welcome to day 17 of content repurposing tutorials where I'm sharing with you 30 days of time-saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a question poll inside of Canva for Instagram so that you can ask your audience about their opinions or what they actually want from you. If you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know we're heading straight on over to Canva and we're going to use that search bar and type in poll. And also, we are going to change the category for social media and press Instagram stories. The next thing that we're gonna do is find a poll or a style that we like and further customize it. So one of these things is great for if you wanna do a this or that, asking your audience uh, what they prefer. Maybe you have a new product that you're coming out and you wanna just give them a sneak peek and allow them to be a part of the process. You can do that as well. So let's search for something really quick where we can just ask a simple question. So I'm gonna click on this here and I'm going to customize this template. As you all know, I'm gonna use the brand guide right here to be able to click and just see some other variations that we can use and then we'll further customize by changing the pictures and everything like that. So I'm gonna press shuffle. I like this one. Okay, I can't really see the paper, but that's all good. That's why we have options, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose uh, some seasons. I think that's pretty easy. So I'm gonna go down to photos and I'm gonna ask people if they like Christmas or Valentine's Day. So we'll find a Christmas photo. Let's put Christmas tree. There we go. I can double click to kind of move that over. Good Christmas tree. I'll put Valentine's Day. This makes, yeah, oh, happy Valentine's Day works too. Just another reminder that if you see the crown here, that means it's for the pro plan and you would have a watermark if you to use it. But there are plenty of ones without it. That's for the free plan if you continue on that way. I have a little mistake here, so I can just delete that. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete these options and I will show you why uh, pretty soon. I'm going to extend this box just a little bit and we are going to say Christmas or V-Day. Make sure as well with these templates that you look around and make sure there's no other elements that share other people's information. So I don't, I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to just delete it. But that essentially will be the graphic. So I'm going to show you a graphic that I made a little bit earlier on that we are going to further customize. And I'll also show you how to use it in Instagram. So let's go on over here. So I have uh, used, I actually used this template but I changed it and just modified it. So you don't have to stick with the template. If you're inspired to do something different, feel free. So I essentially got rid of these uh, picture frames right here and I just added different pictures. So you do not have to stick with templates. Templates is kind of like a springboard to create what you need. So I have this here, option one or option two, and I'm just asking which backdrop people like the most. So I'll zoom in just a little bit. So uh, you see here, this is my bedroom setup, and this is kind of like my living room setup. So I'm going to ask them which one they like. Now, I've opened Canva inside of my phone, but one of the things you could have done was downloaded it from your computer and just airdropped it if you're on an iPhone or sent it over however you need to if you're on the other device. No shade. But uh, I, you can also open the Canva app on your phone and download the image to your gallery. So I'm going to head on over to Instagram now. And now that I'm in Instagram, I'm going to press this plus button and go on over to Story. And now I'm going to press my camera roll icon here and add in this option. One of the reasons why I wanted you to delete the options is because we're gonna use the poll feature inside of Instagram for people to be able to answer us. And the way we're gonna do that is press this sticker button here and we are gonna go over to polls press polls. Now we're not going to ask a question because we already have a question. So we're going to head just, we're not going to fill this in. We're going to go right into the boxes here and just type in, since we have option one and option two, we're just going to put in option one, option two. You get, get silly and add some more options here. Uh, like just keep creating. So what will happen is when I click out of this, the question part, the black part, the question disappears. So now we can just only use this, which works great. So I'm gonna shrink this down and put it inside of this box. Now, what really works well for this here is that when people answer it, you'll be able to get like a metrics that people answer. So I might be saying two, five, or however many people uh, selected 
question one or select a question two, and you'll be able to get that data from right inside Instagram and also engage with those people. So let's go ahead and post this here. I'm going to add this to my story and I'm going to go to a different profile so you can see how it looks when people vote. Now I'm here in a different account to engage with that post that we just posted and I'm going to make my option. I'm going to put as long as you're in the video and you see I can see it's 100% of people which I'm the 100% that posted and then I've engaged. So let's go back to the other profile to see the data. Now I'm back in the other profile. I'm going to click on this image right here and we can see the post and we can see somebody answered. The way that you can know who answered is you're gonna swipe up so that you can see the results. I'm gonna swipe up and now you can see that we have no votes for the other categories but we have one for the fourth one and you can even scroll down and see who did it. It was me. So this is a great way that if you were asking a specific question or maybe you have an offer for somebody who'd like to take a two-week class with you or maybe even book a session with you and I can go right here and just message them. So I can click here if it was me and I can go straight to that person's messages and continue to engage in a conversation with them based off of what they answered. Incorporating polls in a manner like this can be a game changer for you, especially when you have upcoming offers or things that you really want to get your audience's opinion on. You can also further customize the poll inside of your stories by adding gifts or music, adding extra elements from inside Instagram Instagram really, really likes that, so I would advise it for sure. Now, your poll will only be up for 24 hours, but it's a great way to gauge, once again, what your audience is actually thinking and opening up opportunities for them to be a part of your journey. Will you be creating a poll soon? If so, comment below with the first question that you're going to ask. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel or connected with me on Instagram. This is my invitation for you to do so. I'd love to connect with you more.